Hello, good afternoon. My name is Ryan, California State Parks Interpreter with the North Coast Redwoods District. And I'm out here at Humboldt Redwood State Park at the Look Prairie Trailhead. And I found something really cool that I wanted to show you. It is a Western Trillium. And we're gonna talk about Western Trilliums, but I just wanted to get you a little glimpse of it. It's like one indication that it is truly springtime here in the Redwoods. And I've been really happy to be able to get out today and the last few days be able to get out into the field a bit. I spent a lot of my time in the office and so it's been nice to get out in the field and hit the trails. And I've been seeing a lot of those Western Trilliums and many other flowers. It is a beautiful time to be out. And it is a beautiful time to be looking for our flowers. And there are many different flowers and we might get a chance to take a look at some others. Um, but I wanted to focus on this trillium for one big reason. As I've been out here on the trail, something has been bumming me out. And that is, as I've been walking along, I've noticed trillium, just like these, laying on the ground, clearly picked. Somebody's been picking the trillium. Not just that, they've been leaving them on the trails to shrivel up and die. This is a bummer for a lot of different reasons. Now, I can understand why somebody might want to pick a little trillium like this or another flower, maybe a, a sorrel or a Douglas iris or a monkey flower or one of the dozens of other kinds of wildflowers that we have here. I get it. It's springtime. Love is in the air. And you're walking along these trails and you see these flowers and you say, you know, I've got a special someone. And I think I could make them a bouquet and they would think I was the cat's pajamas. Here's the thing. In the effort to give something, something to someone you love, you are hurting what you love, destroying what you love. Because who doesn't love the redwoods and the flowers and the plants and animals that benefit from these flowers here in this redwood ecosystem? So my appeal to you is to don't pick the flowers here. There's a lot of reasons not to. Take, for example, this trillium and how long it takes for it to actually bloom. It can take seven to ten years for this flower to actually bloom. Think about what you've done in ten years of time. Gone from second grade all the way to graduating high school. Some people build their dream house in that time period. Imagine building your dream house only to have it destroyed before you even got to enjoy it. That's what you're basically doing when you pick a Western Trillium. You know, these Trillium, like a lot of flowers, they depend on these leaves to give the underground part, the rhizomes, food. So if you pick this, you're actually getting, uh, you're removing and, and preventing this plant from making food for itself. How would you like it if somebody took your mouth right off of your face and you couldn't eat? You're not gonna survive very long that way. Here's another reason not to pick them. And this, I must just advise you, I'm gonna acknowledge the existence of plant sex. The flower is the sexual organ of a plant. And if we take a look a little closer, we can see some features. You've got these, this nice color. Now some of these sorrels get really purple, or some, some of these sorrels, some of these trillium get really purple. Yeah, see, it almost has these like little landing streaks. These are like neon billboards attracting pollinators. I'm talking about beetles and moths and things like that. And uh, so, I think we even have a little crater up in there. If you look real closely, you might be able to see. There's a little, looks like it might be a little weevil up in there. So you've got these anthers and, these, and the stamen. The pollen is located on here and a little critter comes up in there and it just spreads that pollen around and helps to fertilize that plant or that flower. And then from that, a seed can form usually in a little fruit or a little pod and new trillium babies are born. Maybe that seed drops down, uh, an ant carries it away, maybe buries it underground. There's lots of different ways that uh, it can spread, but it needs that flower to reproduce. So if someone gives you a bouquet of flowers, um, you know, rather than just gush and say, oh my God, that's so beautiful, you're the cat's pajamas. Stop for a second and ask them, hey, where did you get those? 
Did you pick those out of a forest? Did you pick them from a state park? Do you know it's also uh, you know, it's also constitutes a take when you take a flower from a state park. And really, you're only allowed to take that if you have written permission, permission from uh, maybe it's usually for for scientific research or for ceremonial purposes. So uh, you don't want to also break the law. And, uh, you know, you don't want to stop a plant from being able to make its babies. So here's what you can do. You can plant your own Western Trillium. You could go to, uh, a, you could go to a nursery, um, find a seed book. You could plant Western Trilliums as long as uh, you have a kind of a shady, cool area in your yard, have the right temperature conditions. Western Trillium grow all over the Western United States, but they tend to like the shady, cool forests. In fact, I spent a long time trying to find a Trillium. Uh, and of course, when I was looking for it to this little talk, it was pretty hard for me to find. And I was lucky to find this little one over here. Another thing you could do, you could consult your local florist. If you want to make a bouquet for that special someone, uh, maybe they're able to accommodate, find some local flowers, including Trillium, to include in a special bouquet for your special someone. Something else you could do, you could take a really good photo. That Trillium, it's not going anywhere. Look, it's still here. I walked all the way away and it's still here. Didn't go anywhere. So you've got ample opportunity to take the best photo ever and maybe that will suffice for your special someone and they'll still think you're the cat's pajamas. And if that photo is really good, you can upload it onto Instagram with the hashtag Spring Photo Jam 2021 and be entered in our photo contest as long as you do it before April 26th. So um, thank you so much for joining me here and listening to my little spiel about these flowers. Please don't pick them. Please don't hurt what you love. And I hope you enjoy your visit if you make it out here. And I hope you enjoy your day. And I hope you enjoy spring and all of the love and all of the joy that it brings. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye now.